you walk into a room and see a bed on the bed there are two dogs four cats a giraffe five cows and a duck there are also three chickens flying above the bed how many legs are on the floor let me repeat the riddle you walk into a room and see a bed on the bed there are two dogs four cats a giraffe five cows and a duck there are also three chickens flying above the bed how many legs are on the floor this is one of the most interesting recent riddles to surface online but what exactly is the answer to this puzzling problem feel free to pause the video and try yourself before checking the solution let's everyone know your answer in the comment section so let's check the solution now when we listen to the riddle for the first time one will think there are lot of legs to think about but the answer is much simpler than you would first think so just how many legs are on the floor of this geological bedroom some claims that the answer is zero however that answer is wrong the correct answer is six there are exactly six legs in contact with the floor but how let me explain now first we need to understand that a bed also has four legs so that already means there is at least four legs on the floor but how about the other two legs because the answer to this puzzle is six well that all stems from the fact that almost all of the animals in this room are all on the gigantic bed and the ones that aren't on the bed are flying in the air above it at the exact moment you walk in then where did the other two legs come the answer to the question is simple it's your legs why because you walk into a room it's as simple as that that's because as you entered the room clearly you would have both your feet on the floor as a result only your two legs and the four legs of the bed are touching the floor in this animal filled room hence the answer is six this is one of the most interesting riddle and it leads to multiple interpretations if you think that there are different answers don't forget to comment your answer in the comment section two fathers and two sons went fishing one day and only caught three fish one father said there is enough for all of us we will have one each how can this be possible let me repeat the puzzle two fathers and two sons went fishing one day they were there the whole day and only caught three fish one father said there is enough for all of us we will have one each how can this be possible feel free to pause the video and try yourself before checking the solution let's check the solution now if you are struggling to get the correct answer let me explain the solution now the riddle can be conveniently solved by having the three people present each being of different generation that is grandfather father and grandson the grandfather and father are both fathers and the father and his son are both sons there is nothing in the riddle to suggest that one of the men cannot be both a father and a son the solution to this puzzle is very simple suppose if you think outside the box thus the solution is the father his son and his son's son this equals two fathers and two sons for a total of 3 there are nine dogs within a fence puzzle is going viral on whatsapp for quite some time now let me read puzzle now as shown in the image there are nine dogs within a fence by constructing just two more square fences can you make sure that each dog is in isolation let me repeat the puzzle as shown in the image there are nine dogs within a fence by constructing just two more square fences can you make sure that each dog is in isolation the puzzle is being shared over whatsapp for quite some time now this puzzle is going viral over social media as many people have been trying to solve the puzzle many are still wondering whether their answer is correct or not many are still not able to solve it to all those who are wondering about there are nine dogs within a fence answer here is everything you need to know about it let's check the solution now if you are struggling to get the answer let me explain the solution now it might seem tricky at first but there is a very simple way of working out the real answer to solve this riddle one just needs to draw a diagonal square and a straight square inside it 
first let's draw a diagonal square now draw a straight square as we can see now by constructing just two square fences each dog is in isolation this is one of the most interesting riddle which requires out of the box thinking to achieve the correct answer the riddle states that in a square room there is a cat in every corner there are three cats in front of each cat the riddle asks the total number of cats present inside the square room can you solve the riddle nowadays you can find many social media platforms flooded with such fun games and riddles that will keep you away from boredom for a long time feel free to pause the video and try yourself before checking the solution let's everyone know your answer in the comment section let's check the solution now there are multiple solution for this riddle depending on the interpretation if you read that there are four cats in the room and in front of each cat is another three cats then it might lead you to the answer of 16 this is not correct you will have reached this answer if you assumed that there was three cats in front of every cat in the corner that would mean four cats in every corner which is 4 into 4 equals 16 this is incorrect answer let's understand the riddle properly to achieve the correct solution from the first statement in a square room there is a cat in every corner it is clear that there is a square room with a cat in each corner of the room since a square room has four corners the total number of cats present in the room is 4 the next line states that there are three cats in front of each cat we know that there are four cats in the corners of the room when we apply the second statement to this scenario it is clear that every single cat in the room has three cats in front of it thus one solution to this riddle is four and most of the people think this is the right solution going through this interpretation the answer is four let me explain now the different interpretation the total number of cats in this square room will be in the range of 4 to infinity let's break this riddle down in each corner of a square room is a sitting cat a square room has four corners one cat per corner so four cats so far in front of each cat there are three cats an important but missing piece of information is which way each cat from each corner is facing if the four cats are all facing each other then each cat is facing three cats from the other corners therefore there are still four cats in total but If any one of the four cats turns and faces their respective corner then there will be infinite cats this is to meet the condition that each cat faces three cats it is a result of recursion without a terminating condition thus in this approach the answer is ranging from 4 to infinity if giraffe has two eyes a monkey has two eyes and an elephant has two eyes how many eyes do we have let me repeat the puzzle if giraffe has two eyes a monkey has two eyes and an elephant has two eyes how many eyes do we have the puzzle was shared over whatsapp and other social media platforms and it is going viral as many people have been trying to solve the puzzle they are wondering whether their answer is correct or not Let me explain the solution with logical explanation. The answer to if giraffe has two eyes puzzle is four eyes. So the logical explanation to this puzzle is here in this puzzle the question that is asked is how many eyes do we have and not total number of eyes. Hence the answer is four. As in the question it is asked how many eyes we have. so that means here the person who has asked the question is also including the person who is supposed to give the answer in a clear understanding the conversation is happening between two people first who asked the question and second to whom it has been asked which means there are four eyes Jack is looking at Anne Anne is looking at George Jack is married George is not and we don't know if Anne is married 
the question is is a married person looking at an unmarried person let's check the solution now the answer is yes here the statement is true that is is a married person looking at an unmarried person the statement is true how if ann is married then she is married and looking at george who is unmarried if ann is unmarried then jack who is married is looking at her either way the statement is correct A man was going to St. Ives with his seven wives. Each wife had seven sacks. Each sack had seven cats. Each cat had seven kittens. How many were going to St. Ives? Let me repeat the puzzle. Listen and understand the puzzle carefully. A man was going to St. Ives with his seven wives. Each wife had seven sacks. Each sack had seven cats. Each cat had seven kittens. How many were going to St. Ives? There are two variations in this puzzle. Second variation which is more confusing will be presented in the second part of the video. As per the puzzle, there is a man and a man had 7 wives, thus number of wives is 7 and each wife had 7 sacks, hence number of sacks is 7 into 7 which is 49. And each sack had 7 cats, thus number of cats is 49 into 7 which is 343. and each cat had 7 kittens thus number of kittens is 343 into 7 which is 2401 counting all will yield 2801 thus total number going to st ives is 2801 this is straight forward let's now check the second variation of the same puzzle listen carefully and share your answer in the comment section on my way to st ives i saw a man with 7 wives Each wife had 7 sacks, each sack had 7 cats, each cat had 7 kittens. How many were going to St. Ives? This is bit different from the earlier puzzle variation. This puzzle has multiple interpretations. Let's check the solution now. As I have already mentioned there are multiple solutions for this puzzle. Solutions are based on interpretations. If you observe the question carefully, it is not clear in the question whether the large family is going to St. Ives or not. Again if you assume that they all are going to St Ives then one man plus seven wife plus 49 sacks plus 343 cats plus 2401 kittens which is equal to 2801 this i have already explained in the first part of the video but in this case including the man who saw the big family there are 2802 going to St Ives this is one way of looking into the problem let's check the different interpretations So before you start furiously multiplying and adding away let's consider the riddle riddle starts with the statement as i was going to st ives okay so we know that the speaker is going there it continues as i met a man with seven wives how did the speaker meet that man is more important to understand likely the man was going to opposite direction else the speaker wouldn't have met him face to face In any case we only have proof that the speaker is going to St Ives not the rest of the crowd mention so the man and his wives who like cats were all heading away from St Ives or at least heading elsewhere so what is relevant is that this means that the answer is one so if you look the problem in this direction so the answer is only one the person who saw the big family is the only person who is going to St Ives Let's check the other interpretation. So it can be potentially two. We also know that the man had seven wives, but it doesn't say whether they all or any or none were accompanying him at this time. We don't even know if they were present. It's even possible that some of the wives were going to St. Ives, but the man himself was not. So anywhere up to nine. We are looking potentially at two thousand eight not two entities. but it's quite reasonable to think the number may be something smaller as small as 1 but lots of numbers in between so it's really not clear a boy was playing with a book and he playfully tore out pages 7 8 100 101 222 and 223 
how many sheets did E tear out? This is a very clever riddle and this is the riddle that is currently trending on social media and WhatsApp. The riddle is short and does not really require any math skills. The riddle simply tests your observation and logical skills. So it can be a little tricky to solve if you are not paying attention. There are actually two answers to this riddle. Answer can be four or five sheets of paper depending on the interpretations. At first glance, you think that the boy tore out six different pages from the book. But it's a little more complex than that. In a book, there are actually two numbered pages on each sheet of paper. The pages are printed on both sides and each one has an odd and an even number. The odd pages will almost always be on the right hand side while the even pages will be on the left hand side and this is the assumption we are making while giving the answer. Therefore, the first page in a book will actually be numbered 1, 2 and second page will be numbered 3, 4 and so on. When reading the riddle, we can see that the boy ripped out pages 7 and 8 which are actually both sides of the same page. Because I have already explained that the first page in a book will actually be numbered 1, 2 and second page will be numbered 3, 4 and so on. According to this logic, 7 and 8, they are actually both sides of the same page. So at first, boy ripped out pages 7 and 8 which are on the same sheet so both pages will be torn off. Hence, one sheet torn here. The next page torn was page 100 whose adjoining page on the same sheet is 99. This means if page 100 was torn then definitely 99 was also torn hence one more sheet is torn. The next page torn was 101 whose adjoining page on the same sheet is page 102. If page 101 was torn then page 102 was also definitely torn since they are on the same sheet. The next page cut was page 222 which will be on the same sheet as page 221. So if page 222 was torn then 221 was also torn. Finally page 223 was torn and that meant page 224 was also torn since they are on the same sheet. To conclude 5 sheets were torn bearing pages 78, 9900, 101, 102, 221, 222, 223, 224. While a lot of people think the answer is 6, which is wrong, some people think it's 3. Because there are 3 sets of sequential numbers, people have assumed that 7, 8 is the same page, 100, 101 is the same page and 222, 223 is the same page. However, because a page has the odd number on the first side and the even number on the back side, 100, 101 cannot be on the same page nor can 222, 223. Only 7, 8 are actually on the same page which means the answer is 5. If the same question is asked but to find how many pages are tear out, then the answer is 10. Because there are 5 sheets wet on and each sheet in a book has 2 pages. Though these kind of riddles looks very simple but there are multiple interpretation and many makes mistakes while solving these kind of riddles. In a new hotel containing 100 rooms, Tom was hired to paint the numbers from 1 to 100 on the doors. How many times will Tom have to paint the number 8? Essentially the puzzle is asking you to determine how many 8s are there between 1 and 100. Here 1 is supposed to find out how many 8s are there from 1 to 100. So you have to go through the numbers and make a note of every one which contains 8. This is a very interesting riddle and this is the riddle that is currently trending on social media. The riddle is short and does not really require any math skills. The riddle simply tests your observation and logical skills. You may end up in wrong answer if you are not paying attention. Answer to this riddle is 20. Let me elaborate how we get the answer 20. Singling them out, the total number of 8s between 1 and 100 are as follows. While there may only be 19 numbers in total, it's easy to forget when determining your answer that the number 88 of course contains not 1 8 but 2 8. And this is one of the most important point you must remember while solving these kind of riddles. If you want to find the answer in the mind without writing, you can follow this simple step. Consider AB a two digit number 
and if you keep first digit as 8 there are 10 ways of filling b that is from 0 to 9 if you keep second digit as 8 there are 10 ways of filling a that is from 0 to 9 so he needs to write 8 10 times in one's place and 10 times in tens place which will result in 20 combinations thus the answer to this particular riddle is 20 a pregnant woman goes out of a room goes to the fridge opens a can of tuna soda yogurt and a cookie what did she open first this is one of the latest riddles that has become quite popular these days therefore i have provided a step by step method to explain it for your assistance many people have their own interpretation for this particular riddle i am going to provide my answer which is accepted by most of the people answer to this riddle is she opened the fridge door first many people are arguing that she opens her room's door first but it doesn't explicitly say that she opened her room door just that she goes out of her room by listing the food items individually it invites you to think which food you would naturally eat first however she would have to open the fridge to get to some of the items and it's addressed that she goes there first on the other hand some have argued that she opens her eye first which is definitely an interesting take as she would likely blink on her journey from the room to the fridge the most accepted answer to this riddle is she opened the fridge door first it can have other answers too do share your answer in the comment section and don't forget to provide your interpretation and your analysis on this particular riddle